Hello everyone, my name is Minju Kim. It's an honor to present in TMTSI. My presentation title is Correlation between weak reason and structure characteristic of oyster reef using computational fluid dynamics. The order of contents is as follows. First, introduction. Second, materials and method. Third, analysis result. Fine, finer, conclusion. First, introduction. The key point of this study is oyster leaf. Oyster grow collectively and they form three dimensional colonies. It is often called oyster leaf. They are regarded as an important marine ecology engineer because they have a lot of advantage. Oyster leaves can improve water quality and can protect the coastal life by reducing wave, wave energy and can provide a resting and spawning place for other marine organisms. Oyster leaves are representative aquatic ecosystem with habitat complexity. Habitat complexity means that structurally complex habitat can increase species diversity and abundance by providing many niches and various methods to utilize environmental resources. Therefore, in this study, the correlation between the flow reason around the oyster leaf and the structure characteristic of the oyster leaf was analyzed. We chose the wake reason for flow reason and also utilized the volume, surface, and surface complexity of oyster leaf to investigate structure characteristic. In here, wake reason is the ecological space with high probability of ex existence of organism and mineral. Second, materials and method. This is the model used for the analysis. First of all, we designed the oyster simply. The oyster shell is as shown in the left figure and it is modeled in a smooth ellipsoid shape. Its length, width, and thickness are 5 cm, 4 cm, 0.1 cm, respectively. And the figure on the right is the place of strike. We also model the place of strike to install the oyster shell. The dimensions are shown in the figure. Next is the oyster leaf model. The oyster model shown in the figure is a representative model used for flow analysis. Here, n is the number of oyster shells. We designed the model by differ, differing the number of the oyster shells and used up to 200 oyster shells. A total of 71 oyster models were used for flow analysis. Next is the CFD. CFD is the computational fluid dynamics. This is computer-based analysis of phenomena such as fluid flow, chemical reaction, heat, and pulse changes. We performed flow analysis using ANSYS CFX. We used the Lanz equation for governing equations and set up 50 degrees in compressive, viscous, Newtonian, and steady state fluid for fluid model. Also, we used the element-based finite volume method for the numerical method, and the SST model was used for turbulence model. This is the flow domain and boundary condition. To accurately analyze the wake reason generated behind the structure, the flow domain was set to sufficient, and inlet and outlet boundary were specified by flow velocity of 1 meter per second and pressure of 0 pascal. Bottom boundary were specified by no slip work conditions and the others, the others were specified by symmetry condition. 
we generate the mesh into tetrahedron. Because tetrahedron can form a mesh suitable for the complex shape well and has high accuracy, especially in flow analysis. And also, we check the mesh quality to make sure that the mesh was properly created. However, problem arise when forming the mesh due to the irregular and complex shape of the host rib. Therefore, we was intended to reduce the error by maintaining this ratio within 0.005%. Next, mesh independence. In general, as the number of mesh increased, the accuracy of the analysis also increased. Therefore, in order to prevent the mesh from affecting the analysis result, mesh independence was reviewed. The drag coefficients and wake volume were used to examine the mesh independence. In the case of the drag coefficients, it converged when the number of elements was more than 20 million, and in the case of the wake volume, it converged when it was more than 40 million. Thus, we have generated a mesh that satisfies more than 40 million elements in our analysis. Next, wake reason. We examine the wake reason to determine the flow characteristic around the reef. The wake reason is a reverse flow area that occurs behind the submarine structure. It has significantly reduced flow velocity compared to the external flow field. It is a stagnant recirculation flow area containing a large number of the nutrient from the bottom of the sea floor. The wake reason can utilize as a resting place, spawning ground, and food ground for marine life. To figure out the wake reason in three dimensions, we used NCCFX and introduced the wake volume concept proposed by Gim. Three indices were introduced to examine the relationship between the structure characteristic of oyster leaf and the wake volume. First of all, efficiency index. It proposed by Kim. Efficiency index means the wake volume generated by the structure divided by the volume of the OR. Second, input blocking index. This index was introduced to understand the impact of the front projection area of the OR. In here, front curtain area AF is assumed by rectangular. Third, surface complexity index. This index means the total surface area of OR divided by the bottom projection area of OR. Here, bottom projection area of OR AB is assumed by rectangular 2. Next, analysis result. This graph shows the correlation between the efficiency index and the wake volume. As the N increased, the EI of wake volume increased linearly. This means that the growth of oyster leaves has a strong positive collaboration with the wake volume development. And according to Kim, only 26% among Korean artificial leaves were satisfied with more than 2.0 EI. Compared with this result, it is assessed that if the oyster leaf succeed in growth, in, it can be a higher efficiency index of wake volume. This graph shows the correlation between the blocking index and wake volume. AP is the front projection area. It contributes water blocking mechanism and consequently wake volume size. 
as BI increased, vacuum volume also linearly increased. In fact, over time, sediment accumulates inside the oyster leaf. It is expected to further increase the blocking index considering this effect. Therefore, it is just that a larger vacuum volume will be formed at the rear field. Next, this graph shows the correlation between the surface complexity index and vacuum volume. As we can see from the graph, the vacuum volume also increased as the surface complexity index increased. AOR, which is proportional to the surface complexity index, is abstract area available to marine life. Therefore, it can be said that the increase in the structure subtract and the wake volume can occur simultaneously, resulting in special synergy available to marine creature. Final conclusion. This study attempt to investigate the correlation between the flow and structure characteristic of oyster leaves. A wake reason was selected as a flow reason because there is a high presence probability of the organism and nutrient in the reason. In our analysis, the wake volume occurred behind the oyster leaf. As the number of oyster shells consisting of the oyster leaf model increased, the wake volume linearly increased and the efficiency index also increased. A blocking index was used to examine the effect of the area first encountered with the flow fluid. As the blocking index increased, the wake volume also increased. This means that the blocking mechanism had to form a wake reason. Surface complexity index was introduced to examine the complexity of subtract can, that can be utilized by several marine organisms. As the surface complexity index increased, the wake volume increased. It is assessed that this can create special, special synergy by simultaneously increasing the total surface area and the wake volume of the oyster leaf. Thank you for listening to my presentation.